ऑनरेबल विवेक के तनखा जी ऑनरेबल विवेक तनखा जी आई एम इन लोकसभा लोकसभा प्लीज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माय स्ट्रॉन्ग क्रिटिक ऑफ द अमेंडमेंट बिल आई वुड लाइक टू पर्सनली थैंक मिस्टर पुरी for responding to our mails and extending full support to the students and other indian standard award i don't remember a single day when i didn't send him a mail in those 2 3 months and i saw that somewhere they were being responded to though we never got any answers now coming to the bill i have four points one by one and a an ancillary point which ancillary point is about the budget the first point i start with is about the statement and objects and of reasons about talks about the safety audit conducted by the international civil aviation organization which is a united nations specialized agency and in 2012 and 15 in october 15 india's safety score was 89% please note that it was 89% in 2015 however i must mention that the recent audit by icao in november 2017 and in february 2018 the audit result shows that india scored score declined to 57.44% from 89 it's 57.44 and in february 18 it is 65.82 india's air safety oversight is lower than its air asia pacific counterparts such as bangladesh maldive pakistan nepal sri lanka and north korea a dismal record currently india's score is lower than the world average of 65% on the icao board world average is 65% India is one of the only 15 countries that has scored below the minimum target of 65%. This is the poorest score India has recorded in an ICAO audit in recent times. Why I am saying this is we are claiming to become a superpower when our air safety standards are ordered to be worse than that of Pakistan and North North Korea. How do we become a 5 trillion economy? another point i mean my my points are based out of the amendments at present as per schedule 6 of the aircraft act 1934 and rules of 1937 there are 83 offenses under different with different penalties put together first is imprisonment for a term exceeding 2 years or with fine exceeding 10 lakhs not exceeding 10 lakhs there are total 11 offenses imprisonment for a term exceeding 1 year or with fine not exceeding 5 lakhs is 25 of for 25 offenses and similarly for lesser it is uh, it, it is it is not exceeding 2 lakhs for 18 offenses and not exceeding 1 lakh for 29 offenses so there are four categories of offenses for which we have penalties in december 2019 i asked a question as to whether DGCA has taken any action against the operators who were found to have deficiencies i received a reply stating the following in 2016 the enforcement action was against 203 in 17 it was 243 and in 18 it was 334 the no, the notices at the answer no way showed me if any penalties were imposed my information and and the honorable minister would make may, in his reply may tell us this that when you have not been imposing penalties at all i don't think you have imposed these penalties or, or if at all from 2008 when these amendments came you never found the need to impose these penalties which were up to 10 lakhs why are you enhancing it to 1 crore i mean tell us that if if the penalty was not being imposed virtually not being imposed on anybody what is the need to enhance it and penalties are a deterrent if the if 10 lakhs was not a de deterrent then why have 1 crore i mean this is an answer about which i would like from the minister another point 
when how do you when you when you take up these offenses how, what is your attitude i mean at the end of the day you want to make these three institutions a statutory institutions you're giving them a statutory shape but even without being statutory they could have been by, they could have been fair and, and and bipartisan i remember in january this year mr puri had tweeted in the case of kunal kumra offensive behavior designed to provoke and create disturbance inside an aircraft is absolutely unacceptable and endangers safety of air, air travelers we are left with no option but to advise other airlines to impose similar restrictions in the case of mr kumar kamra they imposed a, a restriction of 6 months and then it was reduced to 3 months but what i would like to ask is to myself recently one of the uh, st film stars was traveling by indigo flight and there were a whole lot of press people actually creating turmoil in the aircraft with their cameras and i am told the only imposition on them is like a something like a warning now in the case of kamra you you stop him from taking a flight for 3 months and 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 not only when one aircraft indigo but in all airlines but in the case of this lady who, who was being rushed upon by all these people recently 3 4 days ago this is the, this is the actress who kangana arana when she was flying flying from chandigarh to bombay we saw on television the entire media which was creating turmoil and havoc in the plane what have you done for a conversation that one man did you imposed a selective punishment of 3 months and for 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 the turmoil these people create the media creates you just give them a warning so unless it doesn't matter if you if your institutions are statutory or non statutory if you are not fair how would you your rating go up i mean today we are talking of safety standards your safety standards will only go up if your attitude is is free, is, is is fair just justice seems to come out of that attitude and that is how people are going to respect your decisions another point which i would like to make is director generals are appointed under the amended sections now in the last few years if you see the profile of your director generals in 12 13 it was an is officer 14 15 it was an is officer 15 16 it was an is officer 16 to 19 was an is officer and presently also it is an additional secretary is i think that is correct now let me compare this with what happens abroad details of civil aviation heads in other countries in usa it's a former united states air force officer and an f15 fighter pilot in uk it's the head of the royal air force from 2016 to 2019 having served there for almost 40 years a qualified pilot and a flying instructor in indonesia it's an aerodrome engineer in australia it's a commercial and airlines transport pilot in bangladesh it's a fighter pilot in china it is 10 years with ministry of transport and 5 years with aviation ministry and in pakistan it's a fighter pilot so it is evident that a pilot or an expert civil aviation person must be at the helm of affairs we must also start implementing the same if our aviation sector is to be reformed and only such persons who are well conversant with practices and procedure of the industry who can revitalize the same i mean all this is connected with what you are doing today the amendments so my my the point that i am making is if you if our safety standards can only go up if you have professionalism our safety standards will only go up if if you if there is proper implementation of of your of your penalty provisions if you are selective if if you are if you are if you are going to punish one person because he has a, a particular ideology and another person because he is media i mean that is not what is acceptable it doesn't get us behave us respect from the people so my case is that these amendments may be all right but at the end of the day when you have never imposed 10 lakhs would you be liking would you like to impose 1 crore I mean, we would be happy to tell us if you could tell us in these 10 years how many people have been imposed penalty of 10 lakhs. And the last point that I want to make today is your budget. Your budget for the aviation 
allocation for the Ministry of Aviation has been has been come, has been getting reduced. In act in act in 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 in, in 2018-19, the actual was 9599 crores. Budget was 4500 crores. Revised was 3700 crores. And actual was 3797 crores. Now, if you are not going to give a budget to the ministry, if the ministry is not going to get a good financial budget, how are you going to operate? I mean, you have vacancies at the ATCs. You have, akin, you have a vacancy that deliver for experts. You're not able to finger, fill up your vacancies. Now, unless your own system becomes improved, if, unless you are able to revitalize the entire structure, nothing is going to happen. I mean, these, these amendments are, will remain cosmetic amendments. It, 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 to say that you, will, you are going to penalize somebody, one to roll will be selective in application. And I don't think anything great is going to happen unless we are determined to bring a system which, which brings fair play, justice, and good administration in the system. Thank you. Dhanyavad Manni Vivek Ji.